Hey everybody and welcome back to Falcon Plays Banished and let me go ahead and get the game started going on over here. All right, good. So uh, everything so far is going good for the colony itself. We have like a little bit of a village type of area over here and then our working areas, our storage areas are over here. We have a hunting area, a gathering area over here is going to be the herbalist, so which is still unac unaccounted for because I've done that purposely just because I have other more important needs right now. And our forestry area is going to keep going, wood going and whatnot. Um, is our forestry area connected to the road? It seems like it is, though. Alrighty, what I wanted to do now is actually focus on probably getting ourselves... A, how about a fishing area? That'd be pretty good as well, I'd imagine. I don't have the people for it just yet, but at least if it's there, ready to go, uh, once we have the people to run it, we'll be able to have that going on. So, for the fishing area, you want to have it obviously be by the lake, <laughs> so you could actually fish. I don't... I can't... You can't put a fishing area right here in the middle of the wheat area and be like, oh, why am I catching any fish, right? So... That makes common sense. I mean, even I could figure that one out. Uh, let's see. For this, you're going to want to go... Something like this will kind of work out for us. So, let's see. That's going to actually be on the road. So, let's make it accordingly so like this. And that'll be our fishing area set up right there. And the other thing that we need going as well is also a uh, trading capacity. It's going to be merchants that come into the area to trade livestock with us, which is another thing that we don't have. As you can see, we don't have, we don't have any cattle, any sheep any, you know, yak, whatever you is you want to deal with, we have nothing of that right now. And the only way we're going to get that is actually through merchants, so uh, we actually need to set up a trade post for that reason alone. So let me check out, where is the trade post here? I want to think, I want to say it is... Here we go, trading post, alright. Allows for the trade of resources with merchants, so let me see. For the trading post, um, you want this also to be by water, because that's where the merchants will be coming to you from. Uh, let's see. Is this gonna work out? This does work out. It's kind of at a weird angle, though, but I suppose for a second, though, I have to really put my OCD in this side here to kind of make this work. So, we'll make this go like that, I imagine. And then let's also set up a road to this area. Because we're not savages here, that's for sure. Okay, so let's make a road down through there. Excellent. And other than that, we also are going to need a market area. Now, the market area doesn't work as you'd imagine it would. Uh, the market area kind of works as a way to kind of store your goods and then distribute them, kind of distribute them around evenly. Otherwise, your citizens kind of start, you know, kind of like they leave the socialist mind frame of, uh, you know, <laughs> one for all, all for one type of thing. Where it's just kind of like, well, you know what, I feel like I was working a bit harder than Bob today. Why should Bob get the equal amount of, uh, you know, venison that I am? Maybe I require a bit more than Bob because I put in more word. And then Bob's thinking, well, you know what? Fuck uh, Paul. I'm not sure where these names are coming from, by the way. Paul and Bob, I don't know. But either way, he's going to be thinking like, fuck Paul. Sure, he thought I was working less, but that's only because I injured myself the other day. And El Presidente didn't want to give me any medicine or food or any time off. Okay, you know what? I'm actually now discussing another game. But either way, that's how it works, though. You need a marketing system in order to um, actually distribute food evenly and whatnot. Or else you have to leave it to the hearts of men to kind of decide. And you know what? Unfortunately, as men, we are, unfortunately, pretty greedy creatures by nature. So let's um, slow this down momentarily. And let's set up the trade spot somewhere about here. So the market area I should stay in a trade spot. Alrighty, so this will basically... What the market area does is it'll collect resources from, like, say, the storage barn and take it over here, and then it'll be distributed through here. So, let's say we not do that there. However, the other portion is that I don't want it messing out with the gathering section. So, how about the market area will be near... I guess it makes kind of sense to actually be near the area where we live at, right? So, I kind of want to expand this whole area more in terms of uh, adding more houses here for sure, either way, so... I suppose due to that fact alone, we could probably set the market, uh, I'd say right behind this area, so let's make it like that. Alrighty. So now, as you can see, we've actually had a lot of buildings to get built in order for us to um, set up some fishing, some trading, and some, you know, spreading of the goods. So now we obviously have to set up more builders due to that fact alone. So over here right now, forestry, we can knock this down by one, and hunting, let's knock it down by one as well. Gatherer at two, let's just keep that at two, and let me uh, give two more builders, and the farming, uh... The farming, it feels like we're pretty good right now in food, so... Yeah, let me just knock it down to five. Uh, three for farming and then building, five. And we still have our forester. Alright, it seems like our blacksmith area is indeed finally ready too. So we have to definitely also give somebody to start uh, doing blacksmith for us because, uh, or blacksmithing for us because um, you're going to need the blacksmithing area in order to renew your tools because your tools will degrade over time 
Now, the thing with the blacksmith is that you have two different types of tools you can produce. You can do the iron tool or the steel tool. The steel tool requires coal, however, and I'm not gonna deny it right now, but I'm not... I played this game probably a cumulative of like 30 minutes before I actually started recording for the series itself. So I'm not entirely sure where you get coal from. I'm gonna say it's through, through mining and through mountains, but I have not messed with that feature at all. So hopefully, if you guys know, you'll let me know. If not, then I'll just kind of pick it up as I go, hopefully. <laughs> I really wouldn't give myself that sort of, uh... Like a freeway into doing so, but you know, if it does, it does, if it doesn't, it doesn't. So either way, blacksmith, we do need a blacksmith at all times so that we have uh, more tools being generated for us. So, let's for now drop one builder and make him a blacksmith for sure. Alrighty. And then, in terms of tools, produce a lot of them, man. Produce 550, believe me. The moment you start running out of uh, materials to actually uh, build stuff with and mine stuff with and knock stuff down with, that is when you start realizing, wow, I should have really built a blacksmith. So for the meantime, that's gonna work out pretty good. That, for now, let me just take a back seat momentarily. And we're, st we're low on stone, that makes sense. That's because of the blacksmith. He requires a lot of stones for the tools, obviously. Um, I don't want to mess with the resources as to what's happening over here, or at least the um, hunting and the gathering, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just collect stone from this area right here, I'm gonna say. And actually, if we can, if it's capable, let's make this an increased priority. I guess the market area built as well would be an increased priority. So let's make that an increased priority if we can. And let me unpause this now. So right now our stone is low, but everything else, uh, we have a lot of firewood for this winter. Or not a lot, but a good amount. Our stored logs are actually kind of starting to drop quite a bit, honestly. Wait, what? Oh, no. See, all right, so I just had somebody die, and this was basically out of my jurisdiction, I should say, or out of my control. And Monica, the farmer, died during childbirth. So, unfortunately for me, um, one of my people did die. Not by starvation, not due to cold, it was just the fact that they died during childbirth, which sucks. Um, having an herbalist could have probably honestly avoided that, now that I really think about it. So let me actually drop an herbalist over here, just so that there's um, at least medicine or pseudo-medicine going around the village. Meanwhile, our forestry is down to two right now, which isn't that great, quite honestly, but... Farming's to a seven. Okay, I think we can still make it work through this way, though, so... It's unfortunate that that happened, but it's gonna happen. But we do have seven kids still and kind of on the sideline waiting their turn and whatnot. So as soon as they kind of grow up and mature enough to do some work for us, they will indeed do so. Our stone is still low. I'm aware of that game. I'm trying to get some stone, believe me. I just have some other stuff to build first and foremost. Our firewood is actually low as well. Is it kind of, I guess, 108? Alrighty. The other thing that we should probably start doing as well is probably removing some resources. I mean, all this should have been removed either way. Alright, and now our fisherman area is pretty much set up. However, our food is good right now, and honestly, I'm kind of short on people. So I'm going to hold off on this uh, fisherman section right now. I'm going to let this... It's built, it's good to go, thank you, but I'm not going to make it a priority just yet. And our market should get built soon enough, I'd imagine. Let's see, yeah, our stone is still pretty goddamn low. We have more iron in store than stone for once, which is pretty surprising. Far away at 109. Alrighty. So, at the moment, what we could do is, let's see... Our wheat field's going on. How is our orchard doing? Yeah, 0% yield. That's gonna take a while, believe me. It's gonna be quite a while until our orchard is up and running. The other thing I kinda want up and running, though, is the trading post. Just because if we get a merchant over here, I really wanna buy some cattle from this guy. Or a sheep, maybe, just so we get some wool going. Uh, let's see. I could probably build a few more houses. Let's see what this housing situation is like. Uh, two f dudes living over here. It's probably where Edmonica was before she died, giving birth. Just kind of unfortunate. Uh, Matheron. The child, and six year old, five year old, four year old, five year old, four year old, three year old. Alrighty, so they're still relatively young. It's gonna be a while till they're actually ready to kind of, uh, work for us, but I suppose for now we could put another wooden house. Uh, let's see. We can't build on the goddamn hill or over here. So, let's actually start thinking about setting up a road over through this side. And do that. Let's see here. One, two. Need a space in between. There you go. And then... That's good for now. Let's not get too crazy with that. I don't want them to produce too fast as well, and then we're kind of stuck in a situation where we don't have enough, uh, food and stuff for this other extra family over here. 
Alrighty, so let's have this run through this way, and then we'll build another road coming down through here. Okay, good. Hopefully this market, almost there, 45% complete. And where did my, uh... Where did my general tab go? Kind of tells me what I'm doing over here, right and wrong. Alright, firewood is nice and well up, considering we were up to 100 right now. Our stone, though, as you can see, is completely out, which I'm not too crazy about. Ah, uh, there's snow, and it's just like a matter of getting people to actually gather it, though. Unfortunately, I'm kind of- it's almost my fault because I have queued up a lot of different things for them to do, so it's just taking a bit longer to do so right now. Uh, we did have Elia and Saloma get born, so hey, welcome to the colony, guys. Hopefully you survive long enough, which is uh, a little bit hard to say considering I'm at the helm over here. Stored logs are kind of starting to run pretty low, but that's because our firewood dude is just kind of going crazy over here with them, so... That's perfectly fine. Let me actually... Firewood man... If you could probably tone it down a bit here, like, I don't know, we don't need that much firewood, I suppose. 2,000 is good enough. And let's see here. Let's actually... Alright, how are you guys doing in terms of this con deconstructing all this stuff over here? I feel like these guys run a lot to get to the area without actually taking the dirt pads, which is kind of really upsetting because the dirt pads are supposed to actually make you guys go faster. So... Oh, god damn. God damn this little mound over here. Look at this! This is goddamn terrible! Alright. Can I even... No, see, I can't. It's because of the... <laughs> they have to go all the way around this house to do so. I guess that'll work. That's, that's kind of quaint. That has a quaint feeling to it, doesn't it? Uh, honestly, what do I really need to go in there for anyway? Alrighty, stone is still goddamn low. Really, really low. Orchard, going in there. Our field's about to kind of give us some food, though, so that's actually pretty good. Let me take a look at my... What's going on over here? What's your problem, herbalist? Alright, so we have reached the herb capacity here, so let me go ahead and increase you there up to a thousand, just so you have more stuff going on over here. Gatherer, seven thousand. And hunting, we have one hunter. Do I need another gat? Let me actually take one gatherer away from here. And throw him into something else. Something more important, like probably... We have a lot of building to do, it seems, so let me actually throw another builder in there. Farmers, two of seven, that's not bad, because we do have a lot of food stored up anyway. Okay, actually, killed the wrong menu there. Give me that one back, All right? good. So food's good. A lot of firewood is really, really good. Stone, ugh, goddamn. I feel like I need like Chris Cornell next to me just going like, lock oh stone. But it's like Cornell, I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to get some fucking stone. I just I just can't. It's not happening right now. My guys have like, you know, ulterior motives at the moment. They're knocking down other stuff over here. I mean, as soon as they're done with those trees, though, maybe we'll be able to get these stones over here. I, I think the problem was that I actually prioritized this section over here, so I really have nobody to blame but myself like I normally do when it comes to things like this, so <laughs> I really should not be complaining about them not doing what they're supposed to because I'm the one that's in control here. Or at least kind of feigns control, but doesn't really necessarily follow through with it. Our stone, our market's almost there, and that's gonna actually help out quite a bit once it is uh, completed because it'll be less uh, manpower, just focus on this area alone. And there it is, Bui. Completely ready. I was about to say Buyaka, which is like something that like, you know, you would say like if it was like 1994 or something. Apparently I'm that old now. Alrighty, so the market area. We do need a few people here indeed. So let me check out my jobs. Aerie has become an adult and is working as a laborer. Good. So, hey. Good. Aerie, you want to be the uh, market person? You definitely can. Or vendor, I should say. So you go and do your thing. As a vendor over there. And let's see. Blacksmith's still going. Herbalist 2. Forester 2 of 4. Uh, can we really uh, remove anybody from anything else is a real question here. Buildings, uh, 4 of 10. Huh? Let me actually knock down one. Oh, we actually have extra laborers now. Some of my guys are actually growing up to be workers finally. So, let me get two vendors going on. And let me just make that a 4 back in building then. Thanks to the extra growth that we had there of uh, people being able to work finally, then that's going to help us out quite a bit. As you can see now, we have 15 capable workers and 9 children waiting in the sideline there. So, that's actually pretty good. And our house is here. 8-year-old. 10-year-old. Living on its own. <laughs> it shows a lot of maturity, quite honestly, man. A lot of us are like, you know, 10-year-old. I was still like, you know... Well, I was gonna say sucking to the teat, but that's not true. I, I Hopefully, if you were 10-year-old, you were not still sucking on the teat. But uh, what I was trying to say is that, uh, you know, at 10 years old, I was probably, I don't know, watching Batman the Animated Series running home after school. Just, just That's all I wanted to watch. 
So, you know, they have a little bit more responsibility than we do, as a matter of fact. So, alrighty. We have a lot of extra houses, right? Four-year-old living here and eight-year-old living here. What I'm trying to do, obviously, is pair up these people, right? So, a few more houses will probably help placate that manor. What happened here? Oh, no! I didn't... <laughs> Inelium the forester was killed by a fallen tree. Oh, my bad. See, I'm now I'm getting now the game's just trying to screw me. Now I'm getting debts that are out of my control. It's like a falling tree. Yeah, first the woman dies during childbirth, and now this person dies with a, fa fla a falling tree. Alrighty, how's there going? How's there wood and stone? It looks a lot better than it was before, that's for sure. Alrighty, more people getting born. That's that's cool. 17 able body workers, so. Let me see, I have two extra laborers, right? So, if that is indeed the case, let me actually set up... Maybe we could even set up some fishermen now. So, let's get two people fishing and farming two of seven. I could probably use another farmer over here. So, let me toss this extra farmer over here. Gatherer, one of four. Fisherman, two of four. Hunting, one of four. Uh, I feel like forestry should be something we should kind of focus a bit more on. So, let me knock off one vendor and put more forestry just because wood is really, really important. And as you can see, I actually said it this time without laughing, so it's showing a little bit of maturity on my part, finally. It's about time, it took me like, you know, 20-something years to do so. Alrighty, um, let's see. We could probably make this easier by connecting... ...some roads right about here, I'd say, just to kind of have like an easier access to the market. And there you go. Just get a little ac easier access to the market, essentially. Have everything nicely connected. All right, so what else do we need to do? Man, these trees are growing crazy now. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're about to uh, come up on this uh, come up on this harvest for sure. So we have two fishermen now, right? Yes, that is indeed true. And um, my trading post is still not done, though. That is one of the bigger concerns right about now. Let's see if I can make this a priority right now. Have them built that. And I suppose I could probably help them out building that faster by getting a few more. Oh, we have two extra laborers. Let me throw them in as builders. There we go. All right, we're doing good. Uh, we have 19 able-bodied workers now and seven children. And over here, we have another house that's still pending. What is it telling me we're low on now? Again, stone. Stone's always the issue, isn't it? You know nothing, John Stone. Say what I did there, I switched stone with snow. That was kind of witty at the time. Uh, at least in my head it was. So collect stone through there. And what do we have here? Iron is low and stone is low. Okay. So that's going to be a big concern for sure. What's going on over here? Blacksmith? What's wrong with the blacksmith? Oh, well, he can't do shit because we're out of stone and iron. Right, because he's been building tools. That's the problem. That's the reason why our tools have been kind of... Uh, our stone and iron has been kind of going down the drain. is because we have uh, the this, this blacksmith just kind of building more and more. Um, I guess if that's going to be the case, then the blacksmith could probably, for now, take a little pass. So let me... Go ahead and make the zero of one. For now, I think we're going to be pretty good with that. Woodcutter's going to keep doing his thing, though. Woodcutter's going to wood. Or what's, Woodcutter's going to cut, I guess I should say. Woodcutter's going to wood kind of makes sense. He's going to hang out there and just have erections during the rest of the day when people are just kind of running by. Our orchard supplies, though, as you can see, our walnuts are kind of starting to start reaming in now, which is pretty goddamn amazing. Alrighty, so this is... Oh, come on. Get this built already, goddammit. Just have one house still kind of waiting as well. That one's about to get built, though, and a thousand, you know, our food is actually dropping quite a bit. But that is indeed due to the fact that we have a lot more people now, so we could probably start thinking about actually getting up another crop field going over here, as a matter of fact. I mean, I, I would like to have a pasture field, but as a matter of fact, I can't do that because, uh, logs are low. Okay. Let me actually slow down time a moment here. Now let me actually get my bearings. Uh, crop field would be pretty good. So... Not a gatherer, so a crop field, there we go. Let me switch this up and around further here. Alrighty, so we're hanging out over here, so let's say we do... Another 15 by 15, perhaps. Good. And as soon as that built, we'll pretty much have it, um... What was the other uh, food that we had, or the other plant that we could crop? I think it was, uh... Was it squash? I'm sure it was squash or not. Alright, so we're hitting our Fort Winter now, which is a good thing because um, we have a lot of firewood, so we're not going to definitely, I guess, uh, you know, die of, like, you know, freezing to death or anything like that. Our food is at 2,000, which I'd like it to be a bit higher, but I suppose it'll hold up for now. Our market area is uh, doing pretty good in terms of what we have going on here. All the wanted are there, and as you can see, basically, this is what this is doing. 
instead of storing it over here, we kind of store it over here so everybody has like a, you know, piece of the pie essentially. Alrighty. And let's see what we have over here. God, our trading post needs to get done as soon as possible, God damn it! You guys are super lagging it over here. Oh, we got this crop field done really fast though. So, uh, for this one, oh here we go, corn. So let's do corn on this one for sure, and if we can, we could probably add two guys over on this one. And let's check out what we have going on over here. Five of six builders, four of eleven farmers, uh, one gatherer, two fishermen. I feel like I'm over here explaining the start of a really bad bar joke. So a builder, a farmer, and a herdsman walk into a bar. <laughs> Alright, forester, three of four. Uh, that's good. Herbalist, one of four. Vendors, one of twelve. Let me knock down the fisherman at one of four and probably go and add a another extra farmer over here. So I want one person here, two people here, and then two people over here. That'll work out pretty good, I imagine. Our blacksmith, I am having him take a little break from that because our tools seem to be pretty high up at the moment. There's one more house that hasn't been built just yet. I feel like my builders are kind of lagging it a bit. I'm not entirely sure what the fuck it is that they're up to. Or what they're working on. Especially when this hasn't been built just about yet, and it's really annoying the hell out of me that it's not. I mean, it should be a priority over here. Let me pause the building of this thing right now. I know I've set this at a priority before, but it's not, it's not happening though, I'm not entirely sure why. I'm probably not even using the priority field correctly, is the real problem. Which I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. There, that is your priority. Come and fucking build it as soon as possible. Alrighty. See, now we have one extra builder, if anything. Two extra builders, honestly. Alrighty, so, um... What do we do with this, guys? Let me add another gatherer. And I suppose another... No, not woodcutter. Let me add another... Forester, I suppose. And let's see here. How are we doing in firewood? We have a lot of firewood, honestly. We might be able, honestly. Let me go ahead and uh, tell this uh, woodcutter to kind of take a break. I feel that we have more than enough uh, fire wood actually stored up, and that's probably what's actually hurting our production in this area because we don't have enough wood, although we do. It's stone that we're kind of missing here, it seems. We don't have stone, do we? We don't. Alrighty, so. That's probably what I should have been focusing on the first time here. So let's, how about we go and send some stone collecting through all this, I'd imagine. And let's see, collect iron. Okay, and collect this iron over here. And is there more iron down here? I'd imagine there is, so... There you go. So have my uh, random workers and whatnot that aren't really working collect some of that stuff right there and then we'll call it a quits right now in terms of the woodcutting and the blacksmithing just so that we have a uh, store up a little bit of actual just regular wood and stone at the same time so that we're not over here sweating it if we want to kind of build something else on the fly. We have four extra laborers now so that's actually pretty goddamn good. The reserve of stone is low. I'm aware. We're actually collecting some right now. So if that's going to be the case, we have four extra people. Let me add another gatherer. Let me add... Another fisherman, and let's go with uh, herbalist, woodcutter, gatherer, herdsman. Let me add another farmer, I'd imagine. You know, I wonder if I'm actually really hurting myself here by not having any regular laborers. I mean, builders, if they're not building, they would probably be collecting stone, right? That makes fucking sense. Yeah, yeah, they're over here. Yeah, yeah, see that guy's over here knocking stuff down and mining stuff down. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, okay. Uh oh Yes, alright, finally. So that's almost done over here. No, no, don't remove the resource, goddammit. 82%, alright, excellent. So as soon as this is built, we'll be able to open up our communication line actually trade, so that's actually a plus right there. And again, let me check this out right here. 60 wood stored up, 44 stone, and iron. So that's gonna go up soon enough. Food is kind of on the lowish side. Oh, quite low as a matter of fact, but I, I don't think it's something for us to worry about just yet. Either way, guys, how about we call it an episode here today? And um, if you did enjoy the video, hey, there is our market area. Let me actually pause this here. If you did enjoy the video, I encourage you to go ahead and click the thumbs up button. The support really means a lot, especially on a new series like this. And if you did enjoy it, I encourage you to come back and check out the next episode. Until then, guys, I will catch you next time.